All right, hey guys, this is Jorge coming to you from 719 TCG, and we're going to start a ruling segment because people have a lot of ruling questions, and a lot of them are very easy to answer, and once you've answered them once, you can apply the logic to very various number of cards. Um, we're going to start with Cyblocker. Um, this has been seeing a lot of play recently. It's really good to stop Ophions, Secrets, Fates, because unlike Prohibition, it'll affect a card already on the field. This is because Prohibition has a line that cards already on the field aren't affected, which is not the case for Cyblocker. So this list will apply to both Prohibition and, and Cyblocker. You just have to keep in mind that Prohibition will not affect cards already on the field, while Cyblocker will. When Cyblocker, when a card is called with Cyblocker, you can't normal summon or set that card, and you also can't inherently special summon it. That means you can't special summon Cyber Dragon or Machina Fortress or, you know, stuff like Hyperion or Grapha. None of that. You cannot use it as a Fusion Synchro or Exceed material uh, under the, level, the levels of the card would count as you trying to use them. That monster cannot attack, and you can't manually change its battle position. What that means is, if you, you can change its battle position through something like Book of Moon, but much like Arcana Force the Fool, you can't actually switch it yourself. Uh, you can't activate that monster's mandatory effects, or anything that starts a chain about that monster. That means is, if... Sangan is called under Cyblocker, and then Sangan is sent to the graveyard from the field, of course. Sangan will not get its effect. The other thing is, continuous effects cannot be applied. So, things like Ophion's effect to negate the ability to summon monsters level 5 or higher, or Jaugen's effect, or even Fossil Dina, or Spirit Reaper, none of those effects can be applied. If that monster is a fusion synchro or exceed monster or ritual you can't summon that what that means is we'll see later on that if a monster is declared like let's say i declare um ophion with cyblocker you can still summon ophion with exceeds reborn but you can't actually exceed summon an ophion this makes sense of course if you can't use the monster, you shouldn't be able to summon it either. You can, however, use the monster to pay a cost. As in, you can use the monster to pay, to pay the cost for a trade-in. So if Blue Eyes is declared, you can still discard Blue Eyes with trade-in. You can still tribute the monster under enemy controller. So you tribute it to take control of a monster your opponent controls. And you can still remove it from play. So, let's say you declare Blaster under Cyblocker, and your opponent activates Seven Sword, or Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, they can still remove that Blaster from play. Now, they won't get the Blaster's effect, but it can be used to pay a cost. You can also, as I mentioned earlier, use that card, or use that monster, for other card effects. What that means is, let's say... Um, Stratos is declared under Cyblocker. You can still activate Emergency Call and get Stratos from the deck. You can also add that monster to your hand from anywhere. So if it's in the graveyard and you want to activate Warrior Returning Alive and target Stratos, that again is declared by Cyblocker or Prohibition, you can do that. The only thing is, you can't do that if it would perform a Synchro or Fusion Summon. So you can't remove it from play, for example, for Miracle Fusion. The other thing I'd like to point out is that you also can't use it for future fusion. So back when we had Light Pulsar, or I guess we still do, but back when it was relevant that we had Light Pulsar, you couldn't declare Light Pulsar and then expect to use it with future fusion. You, as I mentioned earlier, you can change its battle position using card effects. So if Morphing Jar is declared, and you want to change Morphing Jar's battle position with AD Changer, you can do that. 
Now moving on from monsters, if you declare a spell or a trap with side blocker or prohibition, you can use that spell or trap to discard as a cost for something. Or you can use it for other card effects as well. What that means is, if let's say I declare Monster Reborn with side blocker or prohibition, and you summon Summoner Monk, you can still discard either that Monster Reborn or Book of Moon or whatever for Summoner Monk and get Summoner Monk's effect. You can also use it for spell or for you can also add it to your hand. So let's say I declare Super Transformation with Side Blocker. You can still add Super Trans to your hand with Side Blocker. Mm, trying to think here. Last thing I really want to point out is that I can't stress this enough. Side blocker will affect cards that are already on the field. So let's say you have a prohibition and you want to play your prohibition. Your opponent already has a face up Spirit Reaper on board. So you activate prohibition and declare Spirit Reaper. The Spirit Reaper that's already on board will still have all of its effects because prohibition states that cards on the field are currently on the field are not affected by the effects of Prohibition. But Cyblocker does not have this line of text. So if you Cyblocker, a Spirit Reaper, a Jowgain, anything like that, none of it will get its effect. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have more ruling videos for you. Post in the comments, please, if you have a specific card you have a question about. I can probably answer it for you. I um, already have the next couple videos planned out, but if you have a question definitely ask because it's better to know than to not know. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.